Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at Sweetness and Lightning, Episode 1. Now, you know, I saw the story premise of this and I remember I read on uh, Mal about it a little bit. I thought, you know, that sounds like a really sweet story. Um, and I really was really curious how it would turn out to be. Because, I mean, Slice of Life anime, I do like a lot. I don't really per se feel like they're the best things in the world. Because sometimes Slice of Life anime can be really boring or really kind of tedious, if that makes any sense. Uh, you know, it's, it's the concept that you're watching anything that has to do with personally daily by daily life, which kind of hits that tone of, oh, okay, well, I already do stuff like this already in my daily life, or I already have to deal with various issues in my life, that watching it on screen is not going to help me really want to do it again. You know, I don't want to really watch something like that on screen. So that's why Slice of Life, I'm a little iffy on sometimes. But typically, I don't go into a thinking like that because there's plenty of Slice of Life anime that have been very different and very kind of interesting stuff like this. Sweetness Lightning is really nice because it is something that so far from the first episode, I feel could really be a very strong series. I mean, I felt a lot of heart and warmth from the show. And I'm going to do episodic reviews of this because um, I asked on Twitter. So definitely go follow me on Twitter, Blade Ninja 9 if you want more information. I asked on Twitter... Um, if you guys wanted me to actually do a review of Sweetness of Lighting and I could keep doing episodic reviews. And I mean, within the first hour, I already had five people saying yes. And I'll be honest with you guys and girls, that was enough to make me go, you know what? Okay, I'm going to do it. And so I do apologize. It's only going to be a singular image because honestly, I don't want to go too through much, so much trouble because I know that it's not going to have the same impact as it coming out the first day. But I definitely will for the episodic reviews have more images of course like I do with my other episodic reviews. Don't worry, that will definitely happen. It's just for this first one it's gonna be short, sweet, kinda to the point. So the main premise though, just for for the show, is essentially we have Kohei Inazuka, who actually is a teacher, assistant teacher more so, who is taking care of his daughter Sumigi, who actually is, you know, who has no mother anymore because his his wife apparently died Sometime before the show starts, you know, we we don't really know too much of the first episode about how that happened. But, you know, kind of having all the issues that he has with, you know, him being a working father and him having a little girl to take care of who has a lot of energy, is really hyper, very cute and adorable. That's one thing I love about the show. She is adorable. Um, she reminds me almost of a real little kid, which is kind of interesting because anime usually doesn't handle, I say, kids very well. I think typically they make kids into like almost weird kind of, oddities if that makes any sense and this one you can almost see that this little girl is like that you know she's very rambunctious she's jumping around you know playing uh, anime that that's her to her liking really showing that she loves her father a lot which is really cute i think that was a really great bond between the two now you know because he's so busy like i said with you know him being a parent and him being a full-time employee of a school he has a lot of issues making food for her and that's gonna be the main kind of concept of this show is that you know, he feels bad that all they eat really essentially is, is fast food and, you know, refrigerator food, which is, you know, stuff that you could put in the microwave or the oven, stuff like that, that he wishes at one point that he can make a real meal. And one day he ends up running into Katori, who apparently was an old student of his a while back. And she is actually trying to be a better cook than she was originally. And through a very serious amount of incidents, she actually invites him to the restaurant that her mother owns, only to find out that the mother actually is not working that day. And that she has to now take care of the cooking, which is really just pot rice. But as you guys and girls know, making rice actually is pretty hard. You'd be surprised. You know, if you don't use a rice cooker, it's something complicated. I made rice a few dozen times, and I think successfully only a few times, to be honest with you, without a rice cooker. Rice cooker, it's, it's super simple. Without, it's a lot harder. But she ends up doing that, and, you know, he realizes that he was so happy to see his daughter finally eat something that was not processed food, essentially, like something that was actual real meal, even though it was just rice. To the point that, you know, even the girl feels like she's super happy and, and that they love the food so much that she hopes that he will keep coming with his daughter to the restaurant or let at least her cook for him to help out her own cooking in the process, you know, help them because it'll show that, you know, hey, listen, there's not just processed food, you can eat other stuff too. And, you know, I know I've been hearing a lot of stuff like, oh, people have been like kind of toting this anime. Like, oh, that's kind of weird that, you know, this this uh, student of his or ex-student of his is with him and doing all that. You know what? I, there's something beautiful about this type of show that 
it's not doing it in a creepy manner. It's not going, oh, you know, this this girl's flirting around with them or something like that. No, it's doing it in a nice way that they're trying to all grow from this. They're trying to go somewhere that has heart and emotion to it. That I really highly advise you guys and girls to go into this with an open mind. To go with see beyond this kind of social norm that it's like, oh, well, you know, teachers and students should not interact with one another, you know. I understand that too. I think that is, you know, there's a place and time for students and teachers to interact, and that's like in school. Outside of that, uh, outside of that realm, it's kind of harder to per se, unless you know you're both of an older age. But you know, the way they handled this so far is not creepy. And I've been reading some of the manga. It is, it still will not get creepy. It'll always be handled in a way that I felt is good and very heartwarming. So I really highly advise go checking this out. Don't let people say, oh, you know, it's 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 like this and that. You know, you're not gonna like it, or you're gonna be creeped out by it. No, it's it definitely doesn't do anything like that. It there's no etchy. There's no weird. You know, oh, this this is happening stuff. It's it's about primarily a father trying to take care of his daughter, despite him not having a wife anymore and him being a working full-time father. You know, it's very rare, I'll tell you this right now, guys and girls, it's very rare to see a father's perspective on someone being, you know, the main father taking care of a, you know, daughter, I should say. And you don't usually see it. You see single-parent anime, but usually it's more so from the mother's side. It's very rare from the father's side. So this is kind of a breath of fresh air to see what, you know, what's going to go on with this. Anyways, guys and girls, that's it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely, guys, like I said, go check this out. It's on Crunchyroll right now. Crunchyroll's a great place to go and watch anime. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but hey, if they want to give me a sponsor, they, they could give me a sponsor if they want. No, I'm just kidding. But, I, you know, go check it on there. It's, it's, you know, free to use for the first 30 days if you use people's codes and stuff like that. If not, you know, just, it's like $7 a month, which, to be honest with you, I paid, I, I paid $7 a month for it. I feel like it, it ends up becoming really, like, you feel like you should end up paying more, but luckily we don't. So it's awesome. And I will do, like I said, for the episodic reviews, I will have the images in the video. I'll have some, you know, like the usual, the dozen video images and stuff like that. So don't worry about that. That will be coming back when it comes out for the second episode. But till now, because I know this is kind of like five days after it came out, essentially. Well, not really, but I think it's like three days. I will not do that because I feel like it's not going to get the huge popularity thing I usually have to do. So I'm not going to go through the whole hassle of making it look really presentable, if that makes sense. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. You know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone.